part? Because all we did was go through notation, how to compute these probability values from a table, and recall what all of this language meant in relation to that random variable x. Yes? Okay, good. Six plus means that I've sort of grouped that, I've grouped this data. There's some people that slept for seven. There's some people that slept for eight, maybe 12. Okay? I didn't list 10 or 12 different outcomes that way. This is the six plus, meaning you slept, some people slept for more than six hours. Okay? How many hours did you sleep? Seven. Seven? Guess where you'd live? They put, we'd put you in this what? This group. Because it's six or more. See what I mean? Okay, good. You guys okay with this? Is that too easy? Let me give you a definition here. Here's the definition. The definition of what's known as the expected value. A very important definition. We're going to talk about the expected value today. The expected value um, is also known as the long run average. The expectation the mean. Okay. They're all the same things. And it's defined to be, and it has different symbols, different books. Um, mu, also known as E of x, expected value of the random variable x, that's defined to be the sum of x times P of x over all outcomes. This is a tattoo time, okay? Your expected value is a tattoo. You're going to be asked these questions definitely on the final on your next test. What's the expected value? of the random variable. Expected value of x. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll read the, OK. What it says in red is the expected value, this formal definition of expected value, this is the formal definition. OK? But it's also known as, sort of loosely or informally, as the long run average. What happens in the long run? Um, or ex simply expectation. Some books would call it the expectation. Um, some books call it, what's the mean? So all of these informal descriptions that we're using here is really the formal expected value. Formally, it's the expected value. Informally, they'll say, hey, what's the long run average? Or what's the expectation? OK? What's the mean? And notice, it's no coincidence that it has that same mu symbol for mean. This is a functional notation, expected value of x, but it's the mean. It's all the same thing. Okay? And I could go through a very simple scenario for you. I mean, I, I sort of debate this because at this point, you know, we, we sort of running late, there's a lot of interruptions, and you know, I have to always balance how much detail do I give you. Um, there's trade-offs. So here's the idea. Let's go, let's see how we can use this definition, first of all. If I ask you this question, what is the expected number, the expected number of hours that students slept? last night. What you would simply do, the tip off that this is an expected value question, is this. It tells you. Okay. So what you would simply do is use this formula. Okay, you guys with me on this? You're going to use this formula. What does this formula, what does this formula say? 
it says to add what? What am I going to add? I'm going to add the product of x and p of x. You see what I'm saying? Over every possible outcome. So I need an x p of x column. Let's go back. Do I have an x p of x column? Well, kind of. I have an x column. I have a p of x column. What I need is the product x with what? p of x. You see what I'm saying? This is a product here. What's under this, or what comes after the summation sign, is this piece of information. Meaning, I have to have these values, whatever they are, and add all of those values. So, I have x, I have p of x. What do I have to do now? Anybody know? What do I do now? What's 0 times 1.25? Anybody know? Right? I've got to take these two values, 0 times 0.125. What is that going to give me? Isn't that 0? What's 1 times 0.315? What is it? 0.315. What's 2 times 0? 3 times 0. 4 times 0.175. What happens when I multiply these two numbers? What do you guys get? Is it point what? 0.7? What's 5 times 0.125? Isn't that 0.625? And what's 6 times 0.260? Point what? A 1.56. So here's the story. I have deduced all the necessary values for this now, this summation. The all x means over all the outcomes. And we did that. We did that product for all outcomes. So now I have to add all those values, and what I get as an answer is the expected value, the long run average, or the mean. So what happens when you add these values? What happens when I add those values? What do you get? What is it? 3.2. OK. Yalzi says it's 3.2. In other words, what she's saying is that the mean, or the expected value we're going to call it, is 3.2. And what does that value represent? It's, re it's the average number of hours that that class, that group, has slept. This is the expected value. This is the mean. It's the long run average. OK? So it's just simply computing the mean here of that distribution. 